You may remember the story from earlier in our program about my friend who had me perform her own funeral. She had cancer and at the end of her ceremony she she actually asked us to play Another One Bites the Dust and we did. Well you may remember that story but anyway before the ceremony began her body was brought forth in a horse-drawn carriage. It was surreal, it was beautiful and the horse's hooves clopping on the cobblestone road in front of this old church brought me back to a simpler time. It was like a time warp experience. So there I was in this really peaceful moment celebrating this amazing life of this woman brought back to a simpler time. And then from behind the church came a big hummer with music blasting out its tinted windows. I think she was thinking from up in heaven now that's tchotchke. Is an SUV inherently tchotchke? Of course not. If you regularly go off-road and carry utilities, then your money has been well spent. But many are never taken out to play. Those two wheels of extra power and that higher suspension made for crossing rivers and going over large boulders are sadly left unused. SUV Ochki, the prevalence of utility vehicles that will never carry utilities or go off-road as they are designed to, which is the reason they cost so much, bought and paid for through the tchotchke paradigm. Many SUVs are simply a manifestation of the tchotchke mind's insensibilities around money and its constant stance in fear provoking the just-in-case response. I need an SUV just in case a meteorite lands right here in the driveway. With one of those, I should be able to scale the meteor and still get to the ball. Bonk. The tchotchke mind also, of course, must have the latest things, keep up with the Joneses, and associates its worth with the cost of its possessions. Even if you did take your SUV out a few times on dirt roads or snowy conditions, I hope those experiences came with caviar, champagne, and a butler in the fold-out seat. Because if you amortize out the extra five to 10 grand you spent on that vehicle just for those kind of excursions, then each one will end up costing you approximately $1,500. Not to mention the fact that you probably didn't enjoy your experience because you were worried about getting your SUV dirty. Many people who drive SUVs would actually be more comfortable and get much more use out of a minivan. However, the tchotchke paradigm would not allow it because through this flawed vision, cars have become a status symbol. We actually often buy cars we really can't afford or we don't really, really want, but we're trying to get the image they represent. When we do this, we have put our soul in the trunk and held it for ransom. Now I used to say, I, I will admit, I used to say I would never be caught dead driving a minivan. And luckily I was right. To this day, I've never been caught dead driving a minivan. <laughs> but I have been seen alive and well driving in one, even in front of my neighbors, and I was only a little bit embarrassed. But the more my paradigm shift, shifted from the tchotchke to the soul, the less embarrassed I became until I reached total liberachki freedom. Not only was I happy to drive a minivan in front of my neighbors, I loved doing it. It felt like I was free, like I let my soul out of the trunk. I have a friend who bought one of these SUVs for all these reasons. For the power. For the four-wheel drive and the higher suspension. Just in case it snowed out or, or a meteor fell on the front lawn. Never once did she ever use it for anything remotely SUV-ish. Not once. She could have been driving a 1967 VW bus, or for that matter, a VW Bug, or a Mini Cooper, or even a Mini Scooter. No, now that I would have liked to have seen her on a Mini Scooter. That would be paradigm shifting. <laughs> so then one day, it snowed out, and it actually stuck about an eighth of an inch. That much! And th this, was, this was her moment. This was the day. All those thousands of dollars, the caviar, and the butler in the back seat came down to this moment, an eighth of an inch. Now she could drive her car and use all that thousands of dollars that she spent for this moment. But you know what? She wouldn't go out in it. She wouldn't leave the house an eighth of an inch with her big SUV. Other people came to pick her up, and the people who came to pick her up were not even in four-wheel drive vehicles. Oh, the insanity. Now, there actually was a time, I will admit, when I used to drive an SUV, a Jeep Cherokee, four-wheel drive. 
I never did any SUV stuff in it, except occasionally hop curbs. I think maybe it was worth the extra 10 grand. <laughs> it was difficult letting go of that Jeep Cherokee. I mean, I kind of felt inflated driving it around town, knowing that at any moment, I could slog through two feet of mud, climb a rock wall, or get air off a sand dune. Unfortunately, none of these occasions presented themselves in the city. <laughs> so one day, things just got clear, and I up and sold it. It was a paradigm shift. It was difficult to do, and bought a Prius. A Prius! Now one of the reasons why I like the Prius is because it's smaller. Imagine that! Liking, liking something more because it takes up less space. Plus, it gets like 50 miles per gallon, which is kind of confusing. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with all the extra money. Deep thought. We all share an SUV. Our souls universal vision. Our actions, however, do not always line up with that vision. It is a vision where all are treated equally. Cars, homes, and other possessions that often denote status actually add no value whatsoever to a human being because all human beings are already priceless. Judging others based on what they own does not support our SUV vision, nor does being driven by status symbols. When we do, our possessions possess us. Truth or fiction? The executive vice president of North American Auto Operations and Honda says that people who buy SUVs are in many cases buying the outside first, they are buying the image. Truth. Truth or fiction? Silly utility vehicles kill 3.4 times as many pedestrians per year as regular cars. Truth. From a study published by the journal Injury Prevention.